the card game where high hands Close can bring eye. high rewards, this is Let's Poker! Hey y'all, and this is Rodney Flippin, aka Rodney1279, hosting Net Poker tonight. Glad to have you with us. We're going to have an awesome time. I can feel it. If one player be lucky enough tonight to answer their questions right and be lucky with the poker hands, somebody could win as much as $105,000 on today's episode. Let's go and meet the players, shall we? All right, so here we go. Let's do the poker round. Here we go. Yes. So, got that poker round ready. Video poker. Oh, wow. All right. Our wow. returning champion, who has won four games so far, he has $30,500, is Brandon Scruggs. How are you doing this evening, uh, sir? I'm good. Good. Glad to be back. You ready to win some more cash? I'm going to try. So that's 30500 Good luck to you, Brandon. And our second player is Justin Norris. How you doing, Justin? Good. How was Canada Day for you? Oh, it was pretty good. Awesome. You ready to go ahead and play some net poker? Ah, uh, yeah. Good luck yeah. to you. And our third player playing against uh, Brandon and Justin is Dante Pittman. How you doing, Dante? I'm doing good, but I'm doing how was your 4th of July? It was great. How was yours? It was good. I didn't just celebrate the 4th of July. We actually had a family outing. I went with my fiance's family. We had an outing. We had a lot of games, a lot of food, a lot of contests. It was awesome. All right. So are y'all guys ready to play uh, net poker? Yes, sir. Let's get to it. All right. So y'all know the rules of the game. I'm going to ask you some 10-point questions, five of them totaled, okay? And then whoever's the lowest score of the three of you will get a chance to um, put together their hand. More about that um, when we do that. But uh, first of all, we're going to do video poker. And I'm going to start each of y'all out with 10 points. There it is. Brandon has the Q key. Justin is buzzer is the B key, and Dante's buzzer is the P key, okay? Are we ready, uh, guys? Ready. All right. Yeah, let's do it. Here's the first question, worth 10 points. And in what country would you climb Mount Fuji? Is Dante. Japan. Nicely done. Whoa. Japan is correct. Next question. Unglee. What is the name of the high school? Mm. Never seen it. I've watched this series with Sunday so many times and I can't think of the name of it. Mm-hmm. I know it's in Ohio, I just can't think of the name of the school. We'll let that time go. Uh, I don't know my geography. Never seen it. All right, Dante just got in before the buzzer. What do you think, Dante? I'll take a shot. I'll take a shot and say Buckeye High School. I don't know. No, that's not it. It's better than no guess at all. Any of the other two of you want to take a gamble at it? No. All right, I'm going to continue on. The answer is it sounds very much like my old high school. It's McKinley High School. McKinley yeah, High School. McKinley High School. High School. Okay, we go on to our next question. How many wives did King Henry VIII of England have? Dante. Eight. Eight is wrong. Brandon. Is it six? Six is correct. That is right. You're up to 20 points. Next question. What? What is the fruity first name of the author with the last name of Snicket? Uh oh. I don't know this one. The first name or last? I'm looking for a first name. First name? Mm, 
no guess. Brandon's gonna Brandon's gonna try it. Is it Kiwi? Kiwi is wrong, no. <laughs> Anybody else? Nope. Dante. Uh Mark. I was looking for a fruity first name. Mark is wrong. Oh, Oh, peach, peach. No, it was wrong. Both of them was wrong. You only get one answer. Justin, you want to try it? No. All right, we're going to continue on. The answer is lemony. Lemony. Okay. Lemony. All right. Wow. All right. <laughs> okay. This is the last uh, question. What is the fastest land animal in the world? Brandon. Me a cheetah. Cheetah is right. All right, and let me recap the scores here. Uh, Brandon has 30 points, Justin has 10 points, and Dante has 20 points, okay? Now we're ready to put together those hands here, and I'm going to tell y'all what is the payoff for these hands once I get my screen up on my phone here. Alright, so, if you manage to get a, uh, a pair of jacks or less, you'll be penalized five points. A uh, pair of queens or higher is five, two pairs is 10, three of a kind is 15, straight is 20, flush is 25, full house is 40, four of a kind is worth 125, straight flush is 250, and if you so happen to get a raw flush in front of my face, not only I will give you a thousand points, but this, was, this applies for all three rounds. If any of you get a raw flush, You'll win a one hundred thousand dollar bonus, and we're going to give you a brand new car. Okay. All right. So we're going to start with you, Justin. You have the lowest score, and you're going to choose five cards to put together your uh, poker hand. All right, eight. Let's see what's in number eight. A cane of spades. Eleven. Eleven. A ten of spades. Fifteen. Fifteen. One spade. One spade. One spade. A nine of hearts. Ah. Three. Number three. One jack or queen or ace. An ace of clubs. One uh, more. That's not the yes I want it. <laughs> Thirteen. Going 13, and behind number 13, we have an ace of hearts. All right, well, that's okay, Justin. Now, you have those pairs of aces. That is five points for that pair. Now, you can elect to keep that, but it won't be enough to win the round. Or you can draw new cards. I'm going to try to make it pass out, Rodney. I'm going for the wrong flush. That a boy. That a boy. And how are you going to do that? Keep those spades. You're going to get rid of the nine, the two aces. He wants to we're all flush. And make money go faint thing. All right. Good luck to you. Okay. Come on. 17. Be anything by nine. Okay. 17. Let's see what's behind number 17. A 10 of hearts. Ah, it's not going to happen. One. Anything number one. Also, for full house. An ace of diamonds, uh, one it. more card. Be careful, Justin. 20, come on. Let's see what's behind number 20. King or 10. King or 10, king or 10. Oh, wait, I hit it too quickly. You, but anyway, you only have a pair of 10, so you know what that means. That's a penalty of five oh, points. So there you go. You're down to five points, and we'll see you in round number um two, okay? All right. All right, Dante, you ready to put together your hand? You have 20 points. Yes, sir, I'm ready. All right, here we go. We're going to cover up that board. Good luck to you, Dante, and go ahead and put together your hand. All right, we'll start with number 12. Number 12. We have a jack of hearts. All right, I'm going to be going with five. Number five. A nine of spades. Bless you, Justin. Thank you. Number ten. Oh, man. Number ten. A jack of spades. That's a pair. Right. Seven. Number seven. 
Three jacks. Three jacks. One more. Okay. 17. You pulled off a, a, a four of a kind before. Can he do it again? Number 17. It's a ten of clubs. Okay. Now, Dante, those three jacks are worth 15 points. Now, you can elect to keep that if you want to. It will put you in the lead, but if you don't think that's enough for you, you can change any of the cards. Uh, I'm going to draw new cards. And how you? And which card do you want to the draw? nine and the ten. You want to get rid of the nine and the ten, so that will give them two opportunities for four of a, four of a kind. Good luck to you, Dante, and go ahead and pick the last two cards. All right. 18. I'll be shocked if he gets an eye jack. Yeah. Number 18. Ace of spades. Right. One more chance. I'll try number 11. Going number 11. A jack would be nice. An ace would be nice, too. Let's see what's behind number 11. It's a nine of clubs. Okay, that's okay, Dante. So those three jacks will give you 15 points. You're in the lead for the time being. You have 35 points. All right. All right, and Brandon, you ready to put together your hand? I am. Let's do this. Good luck to you. You need at least a two pair to uh, win. All right, uh, number nine. Let's see what's by number nine. A queen of spades. Eighteen. Number eighteen. A king of clubs. One. Number one. A queen of diamonds. That's a pair of queens. Um, Fourteen. Fourteen. A nine of diamonds. One more. And twenty-one. Twenty-one. Let's see what's behind twenty-one. Ten of clubs. Okay. Brandon, you have a pair that will give you Five points, you can tie him, and we can go to a tiebreaker if you want to, or you can try to win the hand if you want to. How, how do you want to do it? I'm going to try to win the hand. I'm going to keep the queens, and I'll redraw everything else. All right, you're going to keep the queens, redraw everything else, looking for three of a kind or something better than just a pair of queens. Good luck to you, Brandon, and let's hope for the best. 16. Number 16... A jack of hearts. Okay. Um. Five. Number five. Let's see what's by number five. A ten of spades. One more chance at it. Just need to pair something. Um. Number two. Okay, he needs to at least pair something or get a queen. Anything else, and we have a tiebreaker. Number two. You did it, Brandon! You won the round! You did it. You did it. Alright, so three of a kind gives you 15 points. That takes you to 45 points. And you win the round, Brandon. You ready to go to our poker board, Brandon? I am. Come with me again. Here we go. Alright, now behind, as you know, behind the letters of poker, the amounts range from $500 to $5,000. You want to find the $5,000, Brandon. Where do you think the $5,000 is? Letter O. Letter O. Let's see what's behind the O. $1,000. Okay. Take it. So you have $31,500 up to this point. Let's see where the $5,000 was. It was behind letter R. Go to R. Okay. So, you'll be playing in round three, Brandon, and we're going to take a break. Justin and Dante will face each other off in five-card poker. We'll be right back after this with Net Poker. Stick with us. Oh. All right. So, it's Dante against Justin. Brandon will watch. We're doing five-card poker this time. Alright, now I'm going to tell y'all how five card poker works. Works, I should say. Alright, 
we're going to do, um, you're going to have five cards, and to earn those cards, you have to answer the questions correctly. The first four questions are worth ten points apiece, and if you get the question right, you have a, a right to choose which of the two cards you'll put into your hand, okay? And the last question is worth fifteen points, and uh, those two cards are always face down, okay? Y'all guys ready to do five card poker? Yes, sir. Here we go. Yes. All right, and Justin, since you um, finished in last in that last round, choose a number between 1 through 24 to cut the deck. Oh, shit. <laughs> eight. Number eight. Good luck to you, Justin. Okay, let's uh, draw the first two cards for um, five card poker. We have a nine of diamonds and a queen of of hearts, okay? And Justin has the Q key this time, and uh, Dante has the P key, okay? First question. Which of these names is Ivan in Russia? Is it A, Jan in the Czech Republic? Let me repeat that again. Which of these names is Ivan in Russia, Jan in the Czech Republic, and Evan in Wales? Is it A, William, B, John, or C, James? Dante. I believe John. John is the correct answer. That is right. You have 10 points. Which of those cards do you want? I'll take the Queen of Hearts. You're going to take the Queen of Hearts. Okay. Queen of Hearts and Justin gets the nine. Next two cards we have. We have a nine of spades and a ten of spades. Next question. What is the fee for posting a video on YouTube? Justin. It's zero dollars. Right. Nothing is free. That's right. <laughs> All right. Ten to ten. Uh, left or right? Uh, take the nine. He's going to pair it up with the nine. Yeah, a pair of nines. And Dante has a queen of hearts and ten of spades. Next two cards. We have a 10 of hearts and a 9 of hearts. Next question. What is the Jewish New Year called? All right, the answer is Rosh Hashanah, Rosh Hashanah. Next one. And what novel do Miss Trunkbow, Miss Honey, and Bruce Bogtrotter appear? Dante is going to try. I want to try say Alice in Wonderland. No. Alice in Wonderland is wrong. Justin, you want to try it? No. Okay. The answer was Matilda. 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 Okay. We go on with another question. This is a true or false question. Jellyfish do not have a brain. True or false? Dante. Uh, true. That is true. They have a loose network of nerves called a nerve net, which help them to detect fish. That is right. 20 points now, Dante. What do you want? Do you want the left card or the right card? I'll take the left card. You're going to take the 10. Okay, the left card it is. And Justin has three nines right now. Let's see the next two cards. A queen of clubs and a 10 of clubs. Okay, here's the question. Which of these games does not use a ball? Is it A, pool, B, ice hockey, or C, tennis? Dante. Ice hockey. Ice hockey, is, ice hockey is right. Uh, you have 30 points, Dante. Do you want the queen of clubs or the ten of clubs? I'll take the queen of clubs. Interesting. 
Taking the Queen of Clubs. Okay, he's going to take the left one. All right. All right, so here's the situation. Just in order for you to have a chance to win this, you have to get this question right. Okay, Justin, or it's over with, and Dante wins the round. Okay? All right. These cards are face down, and this question is worth 15 points. Which of these is not part of North America? Is it A, Canada, B, Greenland, or C, Brazil? Dante. I believe it's Brazil. Brazil is right, Dante. Yeah. And for the record, do you want the left card or the right card? I'll take the right card. He's going to take the right card. You have 45 points, but Justin, it would not hurt to get for you to get the 25 points because uh, it will get you more money that way, okay? Yeah. Let's see uh, the final tally. All right, Dante, you have a two pair. Justin, you have three of a kind. You get the 25 points. But, oh, excuse me. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. I missed all that. Dante, you have a full house. I'm sorry about that. I misread that. Dante, you have a full house. And Justin, I have a three of a kind. Dante, you won the round. Yeah. All right, so 70 points for Dante. Don Justin, you have 10 points. We give you a consolation prize of $100 in nice party gifts. Okay, Justin? All right. And Dante, right. you ready to go to the poker board with me? I'm ready to go. Ah, I misread that. I'm sorry about that, Dante. You have that full house. It, yeah, it does beat the three nines. And uh, Dante, what do you think the five thousand dollars is hiding? I believe it's hiding in the K. Huh? I believe it's hiding in the K. Hiding in the K. Let's see if the five thousand dollars is buying K. It's five hundred dollars. Okay, Dante. So Dante, you got five hundred dollars, and the five thousand was behind E, and there's the rest of the money amounts. And Brandon, are you ready to face Dante? Yes. All right, guys, we're gonna take a commercial break, and when we come back. We're gonna do Joker Poker here on Net Poker right after this. Oh wow, I misread that one. Yep. All right, so we're going to do Joker Poker here. All right, and as y'all know, y'all know that Joker Poker is played very much like um, five-card poker. The difference is we have Jokers in the deck, and should you pull two Jokers in um, the first four questions, the person who get the question correctly will not only get 10 points, but they'll win a $5,000 bonus. If the two jokers happen on the last two cards, both of y'all will get the $5,000 bonus, okay? Okay. All right, and Brandon, uh, since you won the first round, you get to choose a card between 1 and 26 to cut the deck. Mm. I'm going to do my bet. Taylor Swift impression, and I'm feeling 22. 22. Two little ducks. All right, and let's see the first two cards we have. An ace of diamonds and the ten of hearts. And here is the question. What name is given to a photograph that you take of yourself to post? Go ahead, Brandon. Is that a selfie? What name is given to a photograph that you take of yourself to post on social media? A selfie is correct. Good job. Good interruption. You want the ace of diamonds or the ten of hearts, Brandon? I'll start with the ace, please. He's going with the ace, a high card, and Dante has the ten of hearts. Next two cards, we have the nine of clubs and the nine of diamonds. Here we go. How old was Mary, Queen of Scots, when she became queen? Is it A? Go ahead, Dante. I will say about 30. 30 is wrong. I'll finish the question for Brandon. How old was Mary, Queen of Scots, when she became a queen? Is it A, 6 days, B, 6 years, or C, 60 years? Uh, repeat the choices again. You broke up. Yeah. How old was Mary, Queen of Scots, when she became queen? Is it A, 6 days, B, 6 years, or C, 60 years. 
I'll say she was six years. Six years is wrong, okay? She was actually, believe it or not, six days old. Six days old. Huh. Her wow. father died shortly after her birth, and she became the queen, okay? Fair enough. So, we still have the two nines playing. Here it is. Here's the next question. What part of speech denotes a person, place, or thing? Brandon. It's a noun. Noun is right. Good job. You got 20 points, Brandon. Do you want the nine of clubs or the nine of diamonds? The diamond, please. He's going with the diamond. Okay, on the right, he has the ace of diamonds and the nine of diamonds, and Dante has the ten of hearts and the nine of clubs. The next uh, two cards we have is the Ten of Diamonds and the Ace of Clubs. Here's the next question. This is a true or false? Cool air rises. True or false, Brandon? That is false. Yeah, warm air rises. That is right. You have 30 points, Brandon. Ten of Diamonds or the Ace of Clubs? As tempting as it would be to go for the flush draw here, I'm going to play the logical sense here. Take the ace. He's going to take the ace, the pair of aces. A strong hand so far. He has a pair of aces and Dante has a pair of tens. Next two cards, we have the jack of spades and queen of spades. Next question. What is the shape of the course that a horse race takes place on? Is it a circle? B, oval, or C, rectangle? Dante. Uh, rectangle. Rectangle is wrong. All right, Brandon, what do you think? It takes place on an oval. It's an oval track. That is right. You have 40 points. You want the jack of spades or the queen of spades? I will take... I'll take the queen. He's going to take the queen, the right card. Okay, now these two cards are face down. Dante, in order for you to have a chance to um, um, stay in the game, you have to get this next question right or it's over with, okay? Okay. Here's the question. On what continent did the potato plant originate? Dante. No, uh, North America. North America is wrong. Brandon, on what continent did the potato plant originate? I'll take a guess and say Asia. Asia is wrong. Okay. The answer is South America. South America. Uh, okay. 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 We're still playing for those cards. Here it is. What is Bugs Bunny's three-word catchphrase? Brandon. And what's up, Doc? Right you are. 55 points, and uh, Brandon, which card do you want? Uh, the right card. Right card. And uh, Dante will not hurt for you to win this hand here. All right, but we may let you play a second game. All right, here we go. Let's see what's the outcome. Brandon wins with those. Uh, Brandon wins the game with 55 points. Dante gets that 25 points because he has a three of a kind. So, Brandon, you win the game. All right. With 55 points. Dante, we're going to add $250 to your score, and that takes you to $750 in this run and nice parting gifts, but don't despair. You'll probably get a chance to play a second game, Dante, because you did come in second, okay? Okay. All right. Brandon, you ready to go to our poker board? Let's do it. Let's go to the poker board. This time you will choose two cards. If you choose the top two prizes, we'll throw in $3,000 for a total of $10,000. All right. Um, I'll take the two vowels, O and E. O and E, okay. In the O, we have $750. And in the E, we have... Two thousand dollars. You have one two thousand seven hundred fifty dollars. So your total so far is now when we add everything up thirty four thousand two hundred fifty dollars. Let's see where that uh, five thousand was. The five thousand was behind letter P. And Brandon, you when we come back, you are gonna go for um ninety thousand dollars in Deuces Wilds poker. Let's see if he can win it. We'll be right back after this. 
All right, Brandon. That is five in a row. Okay, we're going to do Deuces Wild Poker for $90,000. Alright, Brandon, so you're gonna play for Deuces Wilds Poker. I'm gonna move the screen up just a little bit. There we go. We're gonna play Deuces Wild Poker for $90,000. In order for you to win the $90,000, you're gonna choose from each row, from the 1 through 6 row, the 7 through 12 row, the 13 through 18 row, and from the 19 through 24 row. And what you gotta do is choose a deuce in each row, okay? And as you progress down the row, it gets a little harder, okay? If you can choose all four deuces in each row, one in each row, I should say, you'll win $90,000, okay? You ready to go ahead after that outlaw jackpot? Let's do it. All right. Anytime you choose the outlaw, you forfeit your chance at the money, and we add $2,500 to the outlaw jackpot, okay? Okay. So, here we go. One outlaw in this line. I will start with number six. We'll go all the way to the end. Number six. Let's see what's behind number six. Good job. You have that deuce. Now, this time, seven through 12, we have two outlaw cards, four wild cards. Choose the deuce. Um, 12. Let's see what's behind number 12. Is it a deuce? No! So that means you forfeit your chance at the jackpot. Jackpot is at $92,500 now. All right, now we need deuces, Brandon. Three deuces and four, excuse me, three deuces and three outlaw cards this time. 15. 15. Let's see what's behind number 15. There we go. You got two deuces. On the last line, we have two deuces and four outlaw cards. Find the deuce. 19. Let's see what's behind number 19. There you go. Oh, boy. You were short of one um, deuce, but that's okay. This is still good. You have three deuces, so you could you have a good shot at winning $20,000. Now we need you to choose a number between 1 and 24 to cut that deck. Number 4, please. Number 4. Good luck to you, Brandon. Here we go. Alright, now I need you to choose the left or the right card. Well, before you do that, I have to go over the money, don't I? Uh-huh. Alright, so here's what Brandon will win if he uh, um, do well in this game. Okay. A three of a kind is worth five hundred dollars. A straight is seven fifty. A flush is a thousand dollars. A full house is fifteen hundred. Four of a kind is two thousand. Straight flush is five thousand. Five of a kind is a thousand dollars, and a raw flush is twenty thousand dollars. Now you're guaranteed to win at least two thousand dollars here, but we want to see you win more. Do you want the left or the right card? I'll start with card on the left, please. Let's see what's on the left side. We have a jack of diamonds. Okay. Now, Brandon, if you choose anything higher than a 10 of diamonds, you'll win the $20,000. It has to be a diamond, though. Um, uh, My first instinct, it says left, but it's usually been wrong as of lately. So I'm going to go right. You're going with right. You're going to use your other instinct. All right, let's see what's behind the right card. An ace of clubs. All righty, Brandon. <laughs> All right, Brandon. Well, let's uh, complete your hand. How do you want to handle your hand? It never fails to amaze me how many times I can pull four aces. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. He loves those aces. You know what? Just to be different this time, just to kind of break the monotony. Yes. I want the first wild card to be a jack of spades. Jack of spades? Next card. I want this one to be a jack of clubs. 
Jack of Clubs. Finally, a Jack of Hearts. Jack of Hearts is still two thousand dollars. All right, so you have won another two thousand dollars that takes your wings to thirty-six thousand. $250, and in the next episode of Net Poker, the jackpot will be at $92,500. Okay, Brandon? Hopefully, you'll win that the next time. All right, guys, well, this is Rodney1279 signing off for Net Poker, saying be safe, be careful, take care, everybody, and stay blessed. Uh, we're going to do the closing. Nicely done, Brandon. Thank you. Here we go, the credits. Is Eric out there? I am here. You ready to go ahead and uh, play?